Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Shade No Shade. I am your host Bridget, and today I want to talk sports. Well, 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 the Patriots has finally lost. Now, there, it's no secret that I'm not a Pats fan. I live in Atlanta, and they beat my Falcons in the Super Bowl. However, it goes beyond that. I just don't like all the concessions made by the Patriots over the years. First, the Super Bowl that jump-started the dynasty, they really should have lost to the Raiders. Did he pull it down? His arm was going forward, but was he throwing the football? Well, they... the quarterback's arm was going forward. It is an incomplete pass. <laughs> and the tuck rule, you know that was created for them to win. Then it was spy gate, deflate gate, and every other gate you can think of. Nah, 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 but for real, for real. The moment Tom Brady was out, had hurt his knee and was out for the season. And over this hit here, watch Tom Brady's left leg hit right there, bent awkwardly, hit by Bernard Pollard. Oh, now we got to change the rules. Now remember, Carson Palmer got hit below the knee first and was out in 2006. And what they did last time these two teams played, they tried to get Chris Henry in the offense and get him involved early as he just ran the fly route and had two steps on the shade Townsend. Townsend brings him down from behind. It's uh, just a little bit of quick drop. And he was out for the whole season, but they didn't change any rules. Man, but the minute Brady hurt his knee in 2008, now they want to change the rules where you can barely touch the quarterback and definitely not below the knee. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad rule, but... It wasn't until the golden boy Brady got hurt, now they want to change the rules. But anyway, let's get back to the game. This game really exposed Patriots' run defense. Now, it started the week before with Nick Chubb and the Browns. However, they won that game. We was wondering if this defense was all-time great, but it was hard to decipher because they wasn't really playing any teams. Every year, the Patriots have six free wins, and it just ticks me off. The Dolphins, the Jets, and the Bills never have an above-average quarterback. Whether it's Mark Sanchez, Sam Donald, Geno Smith. Collision is imminent. And instinctively raises his arms to brace for impact. This leaves the ball vulnerable, and the result is the infamous butt fumble. Jay Feeler, Jay Cutler, Tyler Thigpen, EJ Manuel, Tyrod Taylor. I mean, these are the quarterbacks that go against Brady every year. So until New England meets an above average quarterback, they're always winning. This was their first real test of the season. Although Buffalo, they did well in their earlier game. This game really wasn't as close as the score. The Ravens controlled the game from start to finish. And trust me, they're going to be a problem moving forward. Because if you can run the ball, Brady, he don't seem to have the arm script that he used to have and seem to avoid contact. You see he just throwing the ball in the dirt at the sight of a pass rush. Now I do think Belichick will make adjustments and be better prepared when they meet again. Who would have thought this week that the 8-0 Patriots will lose and the 8-0 Dolphins will win? That's why you gotta love the NFL, man. Any given Sunday, anything can happen. But hey, that's my take, y'all. What I know, I'm just a girl from the South with an opinion. Let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!